joining the Fruity Green family with our new website, The Raw Food Diet Inspiration, with tons of recipes, all free, and videos on how to create all the fun recipes. So today, I thought we would start off with some of our raw breakfast, raw food breakfast recipes. And on the website is how, simply how to create green smoothies. And it's really simple. In one column, you have all of your greens. Celery, spinach, kale, collards. Any beautiful leafy greens that you can. The leafier, the better. Use, I mean, just go into the produce section, especially if it's an organic area or if you are lucky enough to have farmer's markets. Feel free, grab lots of different greens and try them out. The second part is the fruit part. So you'll have nice, delicious, ripe bananas. And you choose two of those. So you, you grab some greens, that's first. And then fruits, different fruits, all different kinds. You can have grapes, blueberries. For those that are not liking the green look, get some blueberries and add it. Also, you can create savory smoothies. So you would add the same greens and then two non-sweet fruits. One could be a um, tomato, one could be a red pepper, and then I like to add some basil or some nice herbs to go along with the greens to give it that really good flavor. You could actually just use parsley if you wanted or just cilantro, lots of it, lots of good organic greens have those minerals. That's the most important. If, you, if you're used to taking a vitamin, mineral, and supplement, you don't have to anymore. Now you can have a green smoothie and it's all that you need all in one. All your vitamins, all of, all of your minerals. Your number one source of vitamins comes from organic fruits. Your number one source of minerals comes from organic greens. So you've got your perfect little peel in a delicious drink. So we're going to go ahead and make one. Your third part of it is going to be liquid. It calls for, you could use nut milk, water, coconut milk, fruit juice. I prefer to stick with water because it's quick, it's easy. Also, just to let you know, we're using the Vitamix. Now, Vitamix, now a, se a separate company is doing a study on the, how the, each blender breaks down the greens into the form that it will just e easily absorb in your body. Similar to juicing, only it gets the fiber down to the cellular level. And Vitamix is actually the number one that will break it down into a way that it will just instantly absorb in your body when you're drinking it. So we'll just go ahead, we'll throw in some greens. I've got some kale here, a little bit of spinach. Now in the beginning, you might not want to add as much. And as you go on, you might add a little bit more and a little bit of celery there. This is the way you want your bananas to look. So if they're not like this, they're not the candy yet, they're not the complete carbohydrate form, they're too starchy. So make sure they're that way. I'm going to go ahead and add in two bananas. Here's the organic ones may not ripen the same, but as you can see, they're not as spotty, but they are ripe. Put those in, and then we can add some apple and some blueberries. Now, how much you add is strictly up to you. I'm just going to throw in here and there and see what color it looks. I go by the color. I'm going to throw in some water here. On there it has the exact measurements. One apple, one, one cup of pineapple, two cups of green. So go ahead and follow the formula to begin with. And then once you're more, more comfortable, you can change it up and just add what you want. So we'll go ahead and blend. I always start low. And so when you start the Vitamix, you want to turn it on, start low, and then just start to raise it. The new Vitamixes have these really good lids that keep them from coming off. So once you've started on the low setting, and you go up to the high, and then... Just let, just let it blend for about 20 to 30 seconds until you can really hear. The way you can really hear if everything, like including the celery, sometimes that gets in there, is just to turn it on low again. If you don't hear anything bouncing around, you know it's, it's blended really well. 
See, so you don't even see the greens in this smoothie. It looks really clear. We'll pour it in a nice, beautiful glass here. This will be our blueberry, blueberry apple smoothie. So it's really beautiful and really delicious. Mmm. Okay. On to the next one in a minute. Okay, second smoothie. We're going to throw in just kale this time. Just a tad of spinach. And then we'll do one banana. Some oranges. So this will be more citrus based. I just cut my oranges into little sections and just pull them off. So it says, I think, one orange. We'll use a half of this orange. Okay. A bunch of strawberries. A piece of an apple fell in there. That's just great. A cup of water. And this one's going to actually be a little bit more green. So you can see the difference. The last one was really purpley. <laughs> I think I said clear. Okay, remember, start low. And... Okay, so you can see that this is a little bit darker green. This is if you don't mind the colors. So that's beautiful little specks of strawberry in there. Mmm, delicious. Tastes like strawberry smoothie. Can't even taste the greens in there. Okay, now let's make a savory smoothie. Okay, now we're going to make a savory smoothie. So I'm going to put some spinach, celery, I'm going to put lots of celery because I want it salty tasting, a little bit of fresh basil, and these are nice if you let them warm up a little bit to have them as soups. So they can work as a nice, my husband loves savory smoothies, he likes the V8 type flavor. You know. I'm going to add just a pinch of um, garlic clove, two tomatoes, about a half of a red pepper. These are so quick. Are you seeing that? So this is nice for an after work smoothie or just a soup. So remember, start low. Here's our savory tomato red pepper smoothie. Mmm, it smells delicious. And like I said, you can warm it up. Just leave it blending for about a minute and it will get nice and warm and you can have some warm soup. Here's our blueberry smoothie and our strawberry orange banana smoothie. They're really dis delicious and the best thing for you early in the day, in the afternoon. Or hey, just do a 30-day green smoothie challenge. So from our family to yours.